This power supply is called the BitPhoenix Fury, which I think is reasonable considering that BitPhoenix fans are probably furious that it's taken so long to come out. Eh? See what I did there? But it's here now, so that's cool. Let's check it out. Yes, this is the BitPhoenix Fury 750G 80 plus gold power supply. It was announced last June 2013 and was supposed to come out in October. It is now April 2014 and they're just coming out, but uh, you know, better late than never. What are you gonna do? BitPhoenix so far has been known for their cases and their fans and they make some quality stuff and they recently also got into gaming audio with their Flow headsets. And they've also had these multi-sleeved cables called Alchemy cables for a while. And those are, are quite popular with case modders and enthusiasts. They come in a bunch of different colors, so you can fit them to whatever your build color scheme is, so that's nice. Now for the 750G Fury, BitPhoenix first power supply. I actually heard that the original manufacturer is FSP. They also have made power supplies for Be Quiet and Silverstone. They make some quality stuff. So it'll be interesting to see what BitPhoenix have done in terms of the design and aesthetics and how the thing actually performs. Quite a few people have been waiting for this for a while, so let's take it out of the box. First thing you notice about the BitPhoenix Fury is it's pretty slickly designed. Uh, the PSU is 150 millimeters wide, 86 millimeters tall, and 160 millimeters long. Uh, on the bottom, we've got the brushed aluminum BitPhoenix logo and the middle of the 135 millimeter fan, which has fluid dynamic bearings, so it's ultra silent. And around that, we've got this kind of cool razor blade type thing going on, that's cool. And on the top, we have the same razor blade uh, thing, I don't know what you call that, razor blade metal design thing, and a larger embossed BitPhoenix logo. That was upside down, there we go, that's right side up. And on the back, we have a switch and a plug for the ATX power cable, obviously. And on the front, we have all the plugs for the cables. Now, while this power supply is semi-modular, you might as well call it fully modular, because, I mean, who's gonna opt out of the main 24-pin connector? You need that to power your motherboard, you dummy! So for the ports themselves, we have four 8-pin uh, ports for PCIe cables, your main CPU 8-pin uh, power connector, and five more ports for the SATA and Molex connectors. Now about those connectors themselves, a lot of the Alchemy cable fans uh, watching this video are probably like, but what about the cables? Yes, they are the same as the uh, BitPhoenix's Alchemy cables. They're made with an ultra-dense weave around each individual cable. Um, they're very fine and tight, just like the sleeve around a gaming mouse or keyboard, actually these are a lot uh, more durable than the one around my mouse. Um, a lot of cable sleeves for various computer components put a loose sleeve around a group of cables so you can see inside and it's kind of like, is that going to be damaged? It very well could be. Or, even worse, you got one of these and it's like, you know, you got the rubber casing on there or whatever, but I mean, it's, it's not very pretty. I mean, like, take your pick. With the Alchemy cables, every cable is sleeved very well and individually, so you know that they're safe. Inside the box, you have one 8-pin CPU cable, uh, four 8-pin VGA cables for PCIe, three SATA cables, one Molex cable, uh, one SATA and Molex combo cable, a floppy adapter, and a standard set of uh, screws, as well as the uh, standard power cord. Now about the actual specs of the Fury, as I said, it's certified 80 plus gold efficiency, meaning you get 87% efficiency at full load and 90% at half load. It's a single rail design, so you're getting the max power output you can get from that. And it is ready for C6, C7 power states uh, for the Haswell processor. They got a low power mode, so it's uh, ready for that. And it's got active power factor correction along with their Bits Shield six point protection and those are gonna ensure you get a constant supply of stable power without all those crazy fluctuations. My grandpa used to say the Japanese make two things really well, capacitors and erotic cartoons. Bit Phoenix Fury has the first, but not the second. Also, my, my grandpa didn't say that. But it's true, this power supply has high quality Japanese components, and to put their money where their mouth is, BitPhoenix is even giving you a five year warranty with the Fury. As I said earlier, people have been waiting for this product for a while and I can see why. You've got quality components and design, a nice quiet fan on there, uh, the super dense Alchemy cables, and if you strap the warranty on, you've got a pretty compelling package that is available now at NCIX. Guys, thanks for watching this unboxing of the BitPhoenix Fury. 750G modular power supply. Like the video if you feel like it, and don't forget, 
to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.